everyone. So, um, as I talked about in another video, this is going to be the video where I talk about um, beauty stuff that I bought over the spring that are uh, not so great. Not so great. Um, the good news is that most of it wasn't that expensive. So, we got that going for us. <laughs> All right, so um, let's just get right in here. Uh, we'll start with nail polish first again because why not? Um, so I got this on sale um, at Ulta 2 and it is the Sally Hansen the complete salon manicure and it's called at the altar and That's what that looks like and it's a beautiful color. Oh my goodness beautiful color, but um Just the formula not that great. Um, I have not tried a lot of the Complete Salon Manicure ones, so I cannot say, you know, how how they are. Um, I've mainly just tried this one and not a win. Now, all the other ones could be awesome, not so much this one. Um, also, I tried the, the Revlon, um, the scented one, and this was also on sale. This is the one in Pink Pineapple. And that's like a beautiful pink. Oh my goodness. Um, but again, formula, not great. Really streaky, just not opaque, you know? And even if it's gonna be a sheer color, which I like, you know, ones that are kind of sheer, not like super neon, but even if it's gonna be more sheer to me, you should still be able to see it a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm way off base, but that's how I feel about nail polishes. And this was just super streaky and it just looked like crap. Um, also, this one is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. Now, I generally don't have any issues um, with the Sally Hansen, the Hard as Nails, but you know, there are duds in every line. Um, this one's called Heat Stroke and it's not necessarily the formula. Um, it was the color. It was just, it was just not good. It was, I don't know, just kind of streaky and, yeah, I don't know, kind of, I don't know, kind of sheer and I, I just didn't like it. Um, okay, moving on. So, this is an Essence product and it is the bronzers. Now this, these are only like two bucks or whatever. That's what this looks like. Um, and it is the natural one. Now, let's see if I can get this open. That's what this looks like right here. Now, and it smells like, like coconuts. It smells really good. And it's not like the formula that's bad. It's the color. It's just, it was like kind of orangey and it was really light and I did not like it. Now, I would try this in another color though, a darker color, to see if it would be better, but the color for this one, I, just not good. Um, okay, and then this, sorry, I'm just like, what am I going to do next? Do the two eye things next. Um, this is by Jordana, and it's just an eyeliner, and that's what that, it's just a turquoise one. So this is what this looks like, it's one of those like pointy and that's what that looks like there. So it looks really nice. Um, you know, and it goes on, it does go on, you know, nice and everything, but it wears off like nothing flat. Um, maybe if you put an eyeshadow over it, maybe you might have better luck. Um, I just put it like, you know, you put it like under the lash line for a little pop, you know, or maybe, you know what I mean? Just something for a little pop. But it just wore off super, super fast. And these were cheap. They're only like two bucks, I think. Um, now, granted, I do have really oily eyelids. So, like I said, they, I mean, there's not much that can hold up against my eyelids. But even so, this one wore off really fast. So, mm, not too crazy about that one. Brush real quick. I have been trying out um, some of the e.l.f. brushes. And um, some of them have been really good. Um, some of them, not so much. This, and all their brushes I think are like $3 or dollar. 
maybe five dollars most this one is the eyeshadow C brush and that's what this looks like um I thought that it would be like good for like smoky smoky looks like kind of like you know like in the corner and kind of just bring it in or maybe in the crease that's what I thought that would be good for but not I don't know it's really hard which isn't you know it's not like it's a horrible thing but it just doesn't do anything like you put it on and you go try to work it and it's like nothing comes off the brush and then when it does come off the brush the powder it just looks I don't know the eyeshadow I don't know it's just like all over the place it's just all messy and it's not controlled and I did not like that at all um one lip product I tried the Smashbox this is the limitless long wear lip gloss and again I got this on sale this is in the color infinite so that's what that looks like and um, you know it's just a doe foot wand I did not like this like I did not like it at all I didn't like the formula but I can stand formula, like, if I like the color, I'll tolerate the formula. Did not like the color at all. Like, I was trying to find, like, something, like, nudie. I don't know what color this was, but it was not nudie, and I did not like that at all. Um, so anyway, <laughs> now that I've just bashed all these products, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> no, um, but, you know, th these are just stuff that I that I didn't like. Now, you could try them and you know, maybe you're like, Beth, I don't know what you're talking about. This nail polish is awesome, you know? And if it works for you, great. Um, that's awesome. And if you figured out some secret, please tell me. <laughs> um, these just didn't work for me. Um, so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, week, weekend, um, whatever. <laughs> um, and thanks for watching, bye.